Hey everybody, welcome back. Just a review on the Triway Gerard trimmer. This is for the uh, 223. Um, now I've ran uh, 100 rounds through it. The uh, 103 to be exact. Now this is a pretty sweet little trimmer. It really works well. Now if you have a case that is on the shorter end of your trim length and it does measure out to be uh, uh, let's see here 1.749 and a half and that's <clears throat> pretty average but um, the uh, if you have a short case it will chamfer and deburr but sometimes it just barely touches it so mind you 223 lots of times it'll stretch uh, even after the first firing, of course, shooting in an AR, so the um, it's a really good trimmer. It, it <clears throat> doesn't take long at all to use this. It can be adjusted. The, um, in the directions that it has, it says that you can loosen this collar right here on the top. And uh, <clears throat> you can, uh, one half turn, we'll change it to uh, 0 0.36, no, excuse me. It'll change it to 0 0.036 for a half turn. Quarter turn, it'll change it to uh, 0 0.018. And an eighth of a turn, it'll change it, uh, shorten it down to 0 0.009. So it can be adjusted. So that's pretty cool if you want uh, shorter, shorter than 1.750 in your cases. And um, I mean, that's... That's like Sammy Spec for trim length. <clears throat> and I know my ARs, they, when I've trimmed these cases down uh, to 1.75, uh, they, they chamber fine. There's never any issues. But, I mean, this thing is just phenomenal. I mean, it, uh, it trims these cases and chamfers and deburs. And uh, I'm going to run a few here in the video to... Uh, demonstrate how well this works and uh, let's turn the power on now I'll put it in a in a drill after I use it here on the drill press this I bought this drill press it was it's used it was in the uh, local classifieds local guy had it and uh, after I ordered this trimmer and um, and uh, but uh, I, I saw this was you know forty dollars for the drill press and I'm like That'll work perfect for that trimmer. So I bought this drill press just mainly for this uh, this trimmer. And uh, I, I suppose it would, I mean, I'll, I'll put it into the drill after I get done here. But uh, just to demonstrate how, how well it'll work in that. But um, let's demonstrate how it works in this. So hopefully the audio will pick up in, uh, on this. Now, on the longer cases... If you push it in there too fast, it will catch and basically take it right out of your finger. So you, you'll want to get it started in there slowly. And then you can you can feel when it stops trimming. And uh, I mean, it works really well. And um, yeah, see here's a short case. This, this one's really short. See if it's gonna. Yep, it did. It uh, didn't trim any off of the uh, case, but it definitely uh, chamfered and deburred that uh, that case there. So here's another short case. I mean, this is this is so much easier than using a uh, using a um, where to go. This is what I used to use for my my um, Forster. I have a Forster lane style trimmer, but uh, for 223, I I I use this um, uh, lineman trimmer because it, you know you can chuck it up in a drill and it goes goes pretty quick. But this is a lot quicker. If you're in the market for a new trimmer. And you're doing, you know, a bunch of brass, 
I mean, it definitely saves time. It Save, saves a little bit of effort. This one's a little long. It was catching when I put it in. You get the feel of it once it once it goes in. It starts trimming. You can uh, feel that it's catching, and you can you know, back it off a little bit. The um, now I'm putting these in inside this tray here because I don't want the cases. Now that I've trimmed everything, you know, trimmed and deburred, I don't want to just throw them back in a bucket and get them all deformed and dented before I load them. So put them right into that ammo tray. That way there I can uh, load them right up after I get all this trimming done. And then uh, I'll probably do 200 at a time since how I got I have two, two of these trays. So it's definitely worth worth the money. Uh, it's $100, $120 shipped. And I think I may look into it for the uh, for other calibers. You, you can't adjust it. I mean, it's, it's caliber specific. So, but one good thing about one good thing about this is that it. Uh, it has this outer sleeve and it has o-rings on the outside here and uh, it keeps all the brass right inside so it's not flying in your face when you're trimming and uh, and you can you can remove it to, to clean it out and then uh, in the directions it does say not to use a air air nozzle to blow the um, the shavings out because it could get down inside the bearings and uh, I mean, because this brass is—I mean, it's pretty, pretty small, so I can see it finding it its way into everything. But uh, um, so yeah, this is uh, mind you, it says made in USA. I'll point this out, uh, and this piece on the bottom is stamped China. So maybe this ring down here was made in China, and uh, or this bearing assembly was made in China. Uh, maybe this outside of it was made in the USA because it is made in USA and then China on the bottom so take that for what what it's worth but either way it's a quality tool and you can replace the blades and the directions it says you can uh, have the blades replaced if uh, if you need to have them replaced but I think it says you know hundred thousand cases before before it's needed to be replaced so let's see how this works in a uh, cordless drill works just the same you just uh, have to uh, Keep your finger on the trigger, on the drill trigger, not the gun trigger. Yeah, I can definitely see if uh, this is all you had. I'll speed up the process on that drill. I could definitely see if this is all you had for uh, for this tool. It would work. That one just barely touched. Some of these short ones, I think, I think, uh, you know, if it doesn't trim it or, or chamfer it, you know, if you could use your, your chamfer tool that you have to finish it up a little bit, because that, I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely been cut, but not, uh, not too much. This is definitely a nice tool. I think uh, worth the money. If you're bulk loading, uh, bulk trimming brass, definitely a nice, nice addition to the bench.
But if you have a drill press, that makes it makes it easier, makes it better. I definitely like having it on the drill press. <clears throat> but the drill works. Okay, so I'm gonna rip through a bunch of these cases and uh, I'd be done with some two, two, three for a day. So this is my review of the Triway trimmer. They didn't send it to me. I I bought it. Um, so no uh, no pay, paid advertisement for me. Left up. Whoops. Dropping stuff. So. Definitely give them a look if uh, you're in the market for a trimmer, and uh, it's it's just as good uh, as any, and uh, it definitely cuts the cost, and it's more um, uniform than you doing it by hand. So that'll conclude this uh, this video and uh, this review. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you all soon.